Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my April and May empties for you guys. I have not been filming properly the past two months. So all of my updates, whether it's Project Pans, empties, or anything in general, it's gonna be a two month long update. So you're gonna have quite a few things to look forward to. This month's empties or the past two months empties the box is full. I am so happy. As you guys can see, there is a variety, variety of a variety. There's a variety of products that I've finished up, but I don't want to give you guys too many spoilers. So we'll go through them. I am not sure if I'm just gonna randomly pick at stuff or go in categories, but let's just get through this introduction first. <laughs> Before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell just so you guys will be notified whenever I film since my filming schedule is whatever I want. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so let's start off with the body care first. Um, I do have some miscellaneous items as well. For example, I have my isopropyl isopropyl alcohol 70% this is kind of what I use to sanitize everything whenever I come home like my phone laptop whatever um, my makeup that I am putting on and it just spills and just, you know everything so this is the one that I use I finished it off and yeah I'm definitely repurchasing I have two more stocked up so I'm good for now and I do also have my cotton buds so I finished off a pack the thing i do use like uh, loofahs in the shower but i kind of don't want to put the old loofahs in here so what i am gonna do is whenever i take out a new loofah to use um the packaging i will just add into my empties i guess that's how it's gonna work so i did get rid of two of our loofahs and i brought in three more they're all different types the first one is um the body shop drench sponge the cruelty free alternative to a natural sea sponge i really like this i this is the one that i've been using constantly the past week and it is on the pricier side it's like what 13 14 dollars um but i really like it it's kind of soft and it does exfoliate your skin at the same time and it is cruelty free so and then another loofah that i used was from hauda bath life so it was a bath ball and this was like what two dollars and the other one was the glove one i don't know if you guys have seen that i know a lot of asians use that we use that a lot so um there is also the glove one so that is three shower loofahs you can, you can say so those are the three that i'm currently using well it's not all mine but my husband uses them as well so that was it and then i do also have some soaps i've finished off a lot of soaps the first one was this pecksniff's english kitchen mandarin and tea tree cleansing hand wash absolutely loved it the bottle is super luxurious looking as well i did reuse it a few times but it's finally time to let it go i guess so i did finish off that and i did finish off two um bars of soap these are both from Thon Rice Bran Oil Soap Bar. It's in the orange and tangerine from the Aromatic Wood line. Absolutely love them. They smell so good and it doesn't dry out your skin, which I absolutely love. I did also finish off two, what are they called? Deodorants. So they're both from Nivea. One is the stick one and one is the liquid one. They're both from the black and white invisible line and they worked great and then i did also finish off two shampoos so the first one was the head and shoulders classic one uh like when i say i my husband and i so we finished one of the normal sized one the 200 ml one and then i also finished off the tresemme platinum strength um strength and protect shampoo this was the 500 ml one and i am trying to be more careful with the type of shampoos i am using so these were all in my back stock but once i finish them off i think i will try my best to just buy sulfate free paraben free shampoos i know it's going to be more expensive but honestly the quality of my hair has deteriorated the past few years especially since i've been dyeing it a lot like once or twice a year 
so i really need to take care of my hair more and more and if i have to pay more for a shampoo then so be it and then the rest is just skincare and makeup let's start off with the skincare i'm, I'm so excited guys i can't believe it. I finished off this main product. The first thing is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser for all skin types. We have been using this for the longest time. This is originally my husband's, but I used like half of it as well. I loved it. Um, it worked great. This is the uh, cleanser we would take traveling with us all the time. And then the second thing I finished off was uh, my Seal Bigelow Skin Lotion. Wait, I think I have another one also. So I was right, I did finish off two. So these are the CO Bigelow uh, lotions. One is the skin lotion and the other one is the milk lotion. I got this in a care package when I was in the hotel in Japan. I think it was, where was it? Um, which hotel was it? I remember, Ooh, I don't remember. I don't remember but i did like this it was very 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 lightweight so it wasn't a heavy moisturizer and uh, i used them up yeah that's too many moisturizers out of my collection i did also i have quite a bit of skincare in here i did also um finish a clay mask so this is the amala clinical deep cleansing charcoal clay mask it helps detoxify pores, refine texture, and even tone. And I really like that. And it smelled pretty good. Yeah, it smelled really good as well. Um, I did also finish off my lip balm. This is the Body Shop Lip Butter. As you guys can see, it is completely done. This was in a project pen. I don't re re really remember which one, but that will be coming up soon. But I did finish it off. 10 ml of... Uh, lip care products i don't know what i'm saying i still haven't had my coffee guys it's it's too early for me and then the next thing i finished off was my kiehl's eye cream this is the powerful strength line reducing eye brightening concentrate um i really like this it does go up a little bit orange okay there's nothing in there for me to pump out but this one i think was a little bit older because it was stinging my eyes a little bit i do have very very sensitive eyes it waters at the slightest touch if anyone is doing my makeup it just it just i just my eyes water a lot but um i did really like how this felt under my eyes it was nourishing enough and my eyes looked really nice and nursed i don't know what i'm saying and then I did also finish off a serum. So this is the Evan Swiss Booster Number no. 1 to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. In one of my hauls, I spoke about how I got uh, some Evan Swiss products as PR. And I am trying to work through all of them. I don't want to just like use it a few times and let it go to waste. But it worked pretty nice. Their products are good. I will give them that it doesn't cause me to break out or anything like that and i do have some very sensitive skin i break out with the slightest inconvenience so this worked great it didn't break me out my skin looked really good um i went through this phase where my skin was looking flawless no pimples or anything but now it's just back to being shit. so i don't know what that is about but i did finish this off um that is one less serum you guys know by my inventory i will link it somewhere up above or down below but i have an insane amount of serums for someone that doesn't really use serums that much or go through goes through serums that much so i'm trying to make a conscious effort of finishing them off so that is one less thing in my inventory for next year i guess so i'm happy about that and then the last few products uh is makeup uh the first one is this well it, actually there's two products in this this is just the packaging i reused but in here was my sunscreen mixed with my bb cream so i had the la ferrer sunscreen it had some uh color to it hence the foundationy looking color and i also had my bioderma sunscreen mixed into it i couldn't find the packages of those two sunscreens so i just 
brought this out and thought like I would just count it as two and that is two less sunscreens in my <laughs> collection as well. I had the tiniest amount left and honestly because it has been open for so long I just discarded whatever was remaining and called it done because I am pretty sure I've used like 80% of the products. So for the remainder of the makeup I don't have a lot but it's it's good for me. It's it's good for me. Uh, the first thing, oh, I do have a perfume sample. This is the Prada Candy. Everyone knows what this perfume smells like. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it very much. You know, I've never had the full-sized Prada Candy. You know, it's one of those OG uh, perfumes that everyone used to have. I've never owned one. Isn't that weird? I think I was more of a Gucci person uh more than anything else gucci makes some really nice perfumes as well so i do also have my concealer this is one of my favorite favorite uh low coverage concealers this is the essence camouflage matte concealer in the shade 30 light honey that is my perfect shade right now i can use it as a foundation as well as you guys can see uh of there's windows all over it however i couldn't take out the stopper so there's there's a little bit coating the sides over here this does sit lying down in my cupboard so whatever product is left it would it should be like uh, uniformly collected underneath but there's literally nothing left in here i try to scrape it as much as i can and i barely get anything out you guys can see it. it's pretty much clean I loved this concealer. Um, I stopped wearing foundation when I was wearing this all over my face. I started really not liking foundation foundations anymore. I only wear it when I'm going to an event, a wedding, or anything like that, which hasn't happened in a while. I've gone to one wedding the past two years, so yeah. So yeah. Uh, and then the last two products, I have lip products. I am so proud of myself. You guys know I have uh, quite a lot of lip products for me, for a person like me that doesn't go through them. And it takes me forever to go through lip products. And I had promised myself that I am only allowed to buy a lip product if I finish off five lip products. So five have to go out for one to come in just because I tend to go for the same lipstick all the time and I don't wanna like finish that off and go and repurchase that because it's my go-to. So I'm trying to actively finish off my lip products just in case one comes in and one did come in. So I'm gonna count that as something I've bought even though it was a gift just because I don't want my numbers to go up and it's not worth it. So the first one that I finished off is my number seven High Shine uh, SPF 5 lip gloss in the shade Tangerine Twist. I love this color, it was so pretty, but I'm just not a lip gloss person. My hair gets stuck to my lips all the time and it's just very uncomfortable and the lipstick underneath does move around and get on my teeth, which I don't appreciate. And my husband hates it when that happens, so. I try to be very careful with the amount of lip gloss I apply because I know I am so out of it that I forget to check my teeth whenever I go out. So this is the one I finished and the second one is a mini but it took me quite a long time. This is the Finding Ferdinand lipstick in the shade Rose Gold. Um, yeah, I know it's going to finish in the next few days because there's a tiny nub left but I was like you know what might as well put it into this um, update because by the time I film and upload this it will be gone but it's a really pretty color let me give you guys a swatch it's the one I'm wearing on my lips today three days and this will be gone for sure so that was everything guys I know I had a goal of finishing off certain number of products for a certain monetary value i have not calculated anything my laptop is not with me right now it's at my dad's house um but my goal for this year is to finish off this many products i'll just put it up on the screen up until last month i finished off this much this month i finished off i finished off this much and the total comes up to this much I know I finished quite a few, but although it's for two months, but I'm pretty proud of myself. 
Now for the monetary value, which I'm the most excited about, this was my goal. This is how much I had finished up up till last month or the previous update. This is how, how much I finished off this month, these two months or whatever. And this is my total value. Ah, I feel like I am, I am doing very good. So I am very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it is a little bit long, a little bit rambly. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and check out the rest of the playlists. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.